Okay, so we're gonna sneak in together, guys. I'm sneaking in with you guys, so I'm your friend. Let's pretend we're really breaking in right now. I wanna see what you really do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry y'all, the rope is, the rope's heavy. Oh, it's all good, it's not your fault. You get what you pay for. <laughs> You're paying me nothing. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Provo, Utah, shooting the intro to our hoverboard video. Yeah, Devin told me earlier today he wants one thing, and of course, 20 minutes before we start filming, he decided that he wants four other completely different things. Luckily, I've learned over the past two years to bring Everything. all of my gear. Everything, and extra people, which luckily we are using. The script is always evolving, so we have to be adaptable. Filmmaking's about problem solving. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Did you give me enough to actually get back that way? Dave is going to be the anchor point. The anchor point, is that what you call it these days? Sure. Yeah. He's our meat anchor. So yeah. apparently there's not much to anchor to on top of the building. So uh, we're using all 180 pounds of David Swanson right here. <laughs> we're going to place him behind an air conditioning vent. And I'm going to repel and ascend off of him. Let's hope he does not go anywhere. I didn't cut my fingernails, so if we need to really grab down. Just cat claw yeah, in. Just, exactly. That's <laughs> how they do it in the horror movies. <laughs> Cardio. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting our workout in. How many times have we done this, guys? 18. <laughs> Plus 20 at the other location. Wind sprints, baby. Dude, the fall really adds to it. Yeah. No, it yeah. does for real. It was improv. So she fell the first time on accident, right? Or was yeah, it purpose? Yeah, I slipped. Uh, it was accident. But then she did the real one for purpose. Okay, Thomas? so this then is Tom. I've been around this long that you were calling me Tom. I didn't want to screw you up publicly. But he's actually the owner of Flyboards in Utah slash the... 10 states. 10 states. So, US, so. And he actually, they made this box last night, or actually this morning. Dave built the box and I, I used my wife's silhouette to make all the stencils. And what has to do with the date? What, what does that date mean? That is the date from uh, the Back to the Future movie when they went back to the future future that they found out about the hoverboard. Right. I had to actually go into iTunes, download the movie to make sure we got the date right. All right, tell us what happened tonight. <clears throat> so we filmed an intro to a movie tonight in this big, huge warehouse. We did a lot of running, we're all really tired. I took a nasty fall, then they made me repeat it like seven times, so that was nice. Did it hurt at all? Uh, yeah, my knee hurts a little bit, and I have a big lump on my arm. Ooh, but, a bruise? Yeah, other than that, it was fun, it was worth it. Was it what you thought it would be? Yeah, totally. Epic journey, you know, running, dodging, hiding, all kinds of was stuff. Was it tiring? Very tiring, yes. What time is it right now? I have no clue. What time 2 is it? 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah. What was your involvement with this project? I somehow ended up being the cop. He looked the part, so we yeah, put him in the uniform. I guess so. We got this uniform on Facebook. He just posted saying, hey, we're looking for a uniform. We had it 20 minutes later. How you doing? I am fantastic. You tired? Tired and hungry. You deserve the Oreo. So tell us about the shoot. It was awesome. I got a call from Devin today. He's like, hey, I'm going to need you for like an hour. And dress up like a spy. You I said, said three hours. You said an hour and you said dress like Jessica Alba from Spy Kids. That was confusing. <laughs> so I went to a thrift store and bought a tactical turtleneck. It was nice. What was the hardest thing about this shoot? The hardest thing? So, um, I have not done sprints since high school ten years ago. And we did sprints today. 
all day for the shoot, and I need more cardio in my life. Any last words? No. So we did this video a couple days before we released the hoverboard video. We kind of kept it as a top secret thing. So it was a lot of fun. We shot all night. We were all tired. The thing is, is we actually did this video for free. Now let me talk about that for a second, because you're like, aren't you supposed to be running a business? Yes. However, a lot of times we'll pick what I call passion projects. Passion projects are things that I really believe in that I want to get out to the rest of the world. So my friends on this video, they're all doing it for free. We were doing it for free, even though we were promoting a brand. What that basically means is they provided us to go to Cancun to actually film in Cancun. And then they covered our expenses as far as flights, hotel, but everything else we did for free because we really believed in what we were shooting. We believed in the product and we were like, we wanted to show this to the rest of the world. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check out the main hoverboard video. Check out the behind the scenes hoverboard video. Other than that, thanks for watching for right now. Damn, the booty, rock, rock,